Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is October 1st, Tuesday afternoon, and you are listening to the Khan Baba. Welcome everybody, wherever you're tuned in from and, we love. You and we're glad you're here. Let, start today information. Will Saudi Riyal is one of the leading currency in current year. Here is some question in my mind that why Saudi Riyal is one of major currency in the world by the end of 2024. Watch my video till the end. I want to show you the exact figure. So let's start the today information. When the first official estimate of 2023 real gross domestic product is published by the Saudi Statistical Authority at the end of January, it is likely to show that the economy contracted by around 0.5% relative to 2022. This is due to real oil gross domestic product, which is likely to have fallen by around 7% due to the large cuts in crude oil production in May and July 2023. The non-oil economy is likely to have grown by a healthy 4%. Driven by private consumption as households continued to take advantage of new spending opportunities in sectors such as entertainment and tourism. Together with ongoing labor market reforms, this non-oil growth led to significant new job creation, and the Saudi unemployment rate fell to 8.6% in the third quarter of 2023 from 9.9% 9 .9 a year earlier. Nevertheless, two concerns are apparent in the recent data. First, the non-oil economy lost steam as the year progressed, with year-on-year -year growth in the third quarter of 2023 at its weakest since the coronavirus pandemic. Second, investment spending, which is key to boosting productivity and supporting diversification, slowed sharply during 2023. Stronger growth expected in 2024. As forecasters make their projections for the Saudi economy in 2024, they will have to assess whether the slowdown in non-oil growth and investment spending is temporary or longer lasting. They will also have to weigh the potential impact of several global, regional, and domestic uncertainties that could significantly affect the economy. The biggest relate to the global oil market, the ongoing conflict in Gaza, U.S. monetary policy, and the impact of domestic reforms. While 2024 is unlikely to see the high growth in the non-oil sector that is being sought under Vision 2030, a 3% to 4% expansion would still represent a favorable outcome, particularly if accompanied by a further decline in unemployment, given the difficult global backdrop and the need to rein in government spending. While 2024 is unlikely to see the High growth in the non-oil sector that is being sought under Vision 2030. A 3% to 4% expansion would still represent a favorable outcome, particularly if accompanied by a further decline in unemployment, given the difficult global backdrop and the need to rein in government spending. Take care and goodbye.